I actually started to record this video about a month ago. It was to do with Keith Fenner and Keith Fenner's toolbox giveaway. Every year Keith gives away a toolbox to an up and coming young machinist. This year he's actually going to give uh, five toolboxes away. And I always make a tool to go into the toolbox. This year I'm going to make five, one for each box. And what I'm going to make is a tool you've seen me use a lot. It's a tool for simply pushing something square in a lathe chuck, just a bearing on the end of a piece of bar. You can also use the same tool in the milling machine for finding an edge. When I started to do them the last time, the bearings were of such abysmal quality, I gave up on the original video and I did a video called True Precision Shite, which was all about the quality of these bearings. After I pushed the bearing on, I just want to throw the end of the shaft up. This is a high speed steel tool by the way. So I whisper the end of the shaft and I come back. It's actually machining the bearing. A high speed steel, a high speed tool machining the bearing. When you stop the bearing from turning, you can see it's pissed, it's wobbling everywhere. And these bearings have got part of and things on, they're supposed to be. I don't know. That is absolute shite, that. Total rubbish, I mean, for a, a high speed steel tool to be able to machine it. The bearing, that's the bearing track there. It's actually softer than the stainless. Let's have a look inside it. Look at the play on that. That's brand new in the box. I think I'll be getting some. Anyway, one of my viewers, a lad from the MIG Weldon Forum, has sent us a pack of bearings in. Good quality bearings, ideal as I shielded. So I'm going to make five of the tools. It's a simple enough job to turn the end down and press the bearing on. But I'll show you how it works in the lathe and also how it works in the milling machine. I've got a piece of 10 mil stainless bar set up in a collar chuck. The hole in there is 9 mil, so we need to turn this down to be a nice push fit into there. It's important that the bar's running true. That's why I'm using my collar chuck. Bring a clock cage in so true it actually is. It's within a couple of tenths of Fanny's hair, so to speak. I've got a piece of high speed steel tooling in here, nice and sharp. You can machine stainless with high speed steel, no problem at all. This bar's 10 mil. And the hole through the bearing is 9. So we need 1 mil off this. I've just done that 1 mil. And the bar's still not flat. And a hacksaw so mark in it. Touch this off, which is there. I'm going to use a digital readout and dial in. That's 0.45. I should take 0.9 off the off the diameter. Right, and that feels like it will go on there. So all I can do, I can zero my DRO, which means I can turn all five down to the one, the one setting. Okay, so that's, that's zeroed and stored. I'll also zero the cross set as well. There's a little rag on there that needs to come off.
it kind of feels like it will go on to there. It's very tempting to use a punch and knock it on in the, in the rear chuck, but I don't want to knock the collar chuck out of accuracy. I've got a socket that uh, fits on the inner track and goes over there. Hopefully, it'll just tap on. That's a donkey shoulder. Nice fit, that's just, just what I needed. I think it's to cut the bar off to length now. Face that end, which I probably should have done before I pressed the bearing on, but I'm sure I will get around that somehow. Unfortunately, the bearing won't go up through there, so I can't face that end. That should definitely have been cut and lengthened face before I pressed the bearing on. Like I said, I've got four more to do, I'll probably get it right by the time I get the last one done. I'm going to take this chuck off anyway, put a 3 jaw chuck on so I can face that. Then I can also show you or demonstrate how the tools used in the lathe. but at least smooth in. That's basically the tool finished as far as, far as a push tool goes. To convert it into an edge finder you need to do one more thing to it. Go and see the girlfriend or the wife and you get some red nail varnish and just put a red a red mark on like that. Red's not really my colour. I prefer to go with a black. I do think have I not had a black finger or thumbnail ever. It's usually on the lathe, it's simply mounted into a tool holder. On centre height or they're about centre height. I'll put some into the chuck and we'll show demonstrate how it should be used. 
pisze, ale my nie ja. See, it's wobbling, it's not, it's not running straight. I've just got the choke nipped up. I put the camera in the other side so you can get a better view of it. Here you can see it's running out. You simply bring the bearing in to touch the job. Gently push it. It pushes it straight, no more wobbling. I can put a clock gauge on there, but I can assure you that that is running dead true. I'll do it again. Okay, so it's running out of true. Bring the bearing in. Push it just like that, as quick and simple as that. You know, a lot of lads use that method, tap it like that and spin it, but this is just so quick and so simple. Right, it's other use is an edge finder in the milling machine. You can grip it in the drill truck or a, the collar would be better, but this truck's fairly accurate. And all you do. You start the middle, bring it out until that red track of the bearing stops turning. This is where the paint mark comes in. It's just touching there. It's a simple case now. See with the axis, and I know for a fact that bearing is 26 mil across. So if I move that 13 mil, that's going to put the centre of the machine right on the edge of the piece of stock. So there you have it, a simple tool that can be used in the lathe or the milling machine. Anyway, Keith, if you're watching this, I'll be five of these in the post next week. And thanks very much once again. For the bearings. Deb's was doing well. Well, I say she's doing well. She was actually full of cool at the minute. And she actually says so. She says, John, it's nice to be bad, ordinary bad, like people are bad ordinarily, like just cool that's going to go away. What a strange thing to say, and what a, what a strange thing to think. But anyway, she says, it's nice to be ordinary bad. She's doing okay. She's at work. Um, can't knock the last one off. Just remain to see you once again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking the like button. And as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that are coming in towards Demi Wife and me dad. Thanks very much. Right, you can see what's wobbling. You simply bring the bearing in, touch it, bastard, and it comes out the chuck. 